We have about 12 to 1300 people in the actual town of Warner. We pick up a lot of rural students outside of town. We have 800 students currently in Warner Public School District. When we were tasked with going to a digital learning setting, we really didn't honestly know where we were. We found out that we were about 50% connected as a student body. And so we knew we had a, a connectivity problem and began to, to, to figure out ways to solve that problem. We've always donated something to, to the schools. Our focus initially was the locations that had no connectivity. So the school district provided us a list of all the locations that had no connectivity. We provided a modem, we provided the cablings, basically anything that would normally be charged to a new service location, we provided that under this program and the service up until June 30th. If a family was already connected with Cross, they boosted their services. With all of us working from home, the hotspot was not sufficient for our internet access for the distant learning. I'm actually happy to say that as of this as of today we've worked through the whole entire list we've connected somewhere north of 200 locations in about two and a half weeks i still get to learn even since i'm not in school and i um, still get to do the same things i usually do the service is so great we plan on keeping it you know even after the distant learning is over this cooperation that we have with cross is not going to stop at the end of this pandemic our goal is august 2020 that 100% of our students are connected and are able to do digital work from home. This whole program was, was purely set aside to, to help uh, the low-income families who may not be able to afford a connection. At the end of the day, this is about the kids and it's about educating our children and keeping them educated.